subscribe and share. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Views and Help and today I'm going to show you how to change your buttons as far as the background and that way they look real professional and great no matter what application you're making and instead of looking like this and also you can use these same images within actual iOS stuff because iOS buttons there is no button background it's just text that's floating there and the person's supposed to know that means a button so as far as that goes hopefully that this will help you guys out and make your stuff look very professional and great but anyways let's jump into a quick personal advertisement and then go into this thanks for sticking around during the ads please feel free to click on the icons shown to be taken to areas where you can help us all links will be below for mobile and other users welcome back so real quick what you want to do is go on Google or whatever your favorite search engine is if you don't have the ability to make one yourself and look for button PNG. So it's very, very important to realize that and I'll advise you to use um, something like Deluminate or something on Chrome. And this will tell you which is a transparent picture and how much of it's transparent. So as you see, I just started up the Deluminate application and the D Smart. And this showed me that this, 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 kind of, and a few others are transparent. So, what it looks like if you don't have like that, is well, you see the image as you see there. So, one thing we got to keep in mind is if we choose this, we got to do some work on it on sides. So we want to avoid things like that. Try to find buttons like this. And at worst case scenario, we can use a, uh, a, a actual application like Photoshop to help us out on this problem. We just got to find a proper button. And specifically, you would want to find one that expresses your application and that is not copyright. So it's very, very important. And what I would advise if you could is find a template like this. And basically what happens with these templates is you get a whole bunch of buttons that you can use. Simple, easy to use. And um and I will be right back in and also obviously download the actual button if you don't make it yourself. Now we select our images. I'm not going to really edit this. I'm just going to try to move on as quick as possible. So going into the saving it, it needs to be in uh, pretty much in English, but try to keep it at characters first, lowercase. And then go to Android Studio. We want to go and right click drawable. Depending on which version, it's depending on exactly what you can and can't do. But just go drawable, right click, go to show and support. Give it a second or two, and it shows it right here. What we want to do is, I think, yeah, I deleted it. So I need to get it back. And there you go. Now again, this is not transparent, so you're going to get this outline. The size of it is horrible, so that's a huge thing to keep in mind. Um, we can edit this. In fact, uh, let's just pull it up and paint real quick. It will take out trend, any transparent that was there. But um, let's do that. So we can edit the size. And uh, go from there. So from here, what we want to do is just select this and change the background on that. Enter Android, that thing, background, and make it drawable. 
and then uh, we want to press this to synchronize everything and type in whatever we wanted so there we go we got our image now one thing I will note is let's do the same thing here if you notice here one if the image was not um, resized like I just did in paint it would take up a lot more space than this in a second the uh, image the button is not big enough in fact it what would have happened if I didn't resize this the the button that's that's actually try to change the uh, entire background something more viewable so if I didn't change the image size what would end up happening is the button will be half that size the text will still be the same size so that means most of the text won't even be on the button but now the text is barely on the button and looks horrible so you got to fiddle with that and make sure that you got the right buttons but as far as something like this this main menu something like that be perfectly fine the colors and stuff that might be something that you want to check out when you're doing your stuff it's very important to realize that. I see there. So, what happens if you don't want the background anymore? You can just select that and then get rid of it. Now, if you don't have the image, then basically this will be the thing that happens. So, we'll do that. You get an error and uh, you gotta fix it. I see here we have a error and it's this Oops. and there we go so but anyways as far as that goes hopefully this helped you out and uh hopefully that you uh you gain some use out of this now, if you do want to play this code, this will be available on GitHub. I'll leave a link to that so you guys can check it out. But um, please like, please subscribe, please share. Again, if you've got any questions, leave that below. Comments, leave that below. But if you don't like this, go ahead and just like tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. But again, this has been Cribbent, founder of Tech Feast. Nope, and hope you have a great day.